Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Tac Life brand variable speed polisher model PPG J01A. You can see the logo on there, Tac Life. Very stylish looking component, tool. I love the way it looks and I love the balance of it too. You can see it has a digital display. We're going to test that. It has a locking function so that you don't have to have finger fatigue. Just push that button in like that and then it will lock it and then you can release the lock just by hitting it again it has a very nice oversized spindle on here it has two methods of using a handle one right here which you can put on either way left or right it includes the screws to mount that or you have the option of using a side handle which goes right in right there it's up to you whatever is more comfortable while you're using the tool Included also is a nice oversized spindle and the spindle is seven inches and you see it has the velcro pins on here and that's going to allow it to mate to the other components that I'm going to show you. It also includes a slightly smaller spindle and this is six inches. Depending on your application, the smaller spindle obviously has less drag, so you might want to use that at higher speeds. It includes a very nice wool material that has a strap you can tighten up, and that'll work with the larger spindle right there. And that could be used for polishing uh, once you put on your cream on your car, or we're going to demonstrate it actually on my counters. I'm going to polish the counters with this. It includes three six inch diameter they're all different colors so that you keep keep track of the paste you're putting on and this allows you to put paste on whatever you're polishing first and you start off with a nice slow speed this puts the paste on and then you could polish it with the wool also includes extra contacts so that if your contacts wear away it takes a long time i still have tools that are 25 years old but it is there as an option and it has a tool for mounting those handles on there and it includes a nice instruction menu in all different languages and a warranty card where you can register this unit comes with a 24 month warranty from the manufacturer tac life so the first thing i'm going to show is i mentioned the handle you have the option of just putting that in on the side just like that then you have this other option of using the handle right here this is the one I'm going to put on I'm going to use it just slides over and you line up the holes and includes the very solid bolts in there so we're going to line that up and put that in and we're just going to turn it by hand initially just like that and then the tool that comes with a tool as I mentioned that allows you and they cleverly put a hole right there so that this goes right through and then you could turn that and tighten that handle just right there then on the other side same process line it up with the hole and put the screw in there and turn the screw by hand initially and then you could take this and tighten it by going clockwise using the wrench that it comes with now this is without my preferred choice I'd rather use this than using this handle this just feels better to the hand the uh, tool as I mentioned is very balanced and very easy to use we're going to power this up and check that out now you'll notice there's a big orange button right here and that is a lock button that will lock the spindle and that's what allows you to put on and tighten the various wheels so if we put that wheel like that we go clockwise and then you can see if I turn it the motor spins so you can push that lock in place and then it locks it and then you could tighten this up now don't over tighten it but that's how you do it this tool also includes a very generous long it's uh, over 10 feet long power cord which is nice that way you don't have to use extension cords when you're using this tool I want to point out some other nice feature that this tool has when you first start off it's going to slowly ramp up the speed so that if you're using these 
sponges, your cream, the polishing cream won't go all over the place. So if you listen closely, you'll notice that. So that's a nice function that's built into the tool. So here I have the tool powered up and I have a watt meter on there. And I'm gonna show you the display right here. And if I turn, push the knob, the orange handle right there. That's the first speed. So there's six speeds. You could change the speed by hitting the plus button right there. And you can see the display will show you it goes 6, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Now it always goes back to the slow speed and it displays 6. Now the lock function is really simple. You just push the button and then hold that right there. And you see it's hands free. Then you can adjust the speed right there. Now the watt meter is showing you the watts and it shows you the power. So you can see it's about eight, 800 watts and that's without anything loading it up. So that's good. It shows that the tool is efficient. Now another application of the Tech Life buffer you put on the sand piece of sandpaper that's got the velcro on there and now you can use it to sand wood and beveling wood is sometimes a pain but you can see it does quite nice even on the lowest speed nice and quiet I mean, that was the low speed, and it instantly put a bevel on there. And I can go at a higher speed if I want. Just increase it right here. So we've got a 45 degree bevel. So easy and so quickly. So another application for the Tac Life buffer is counters. One of those neglected things. This, this is a granite. I have a product here that seals the granite, allows you to polish it. So I'm going to apply that product and I'll let it dry. Then I'm going to use the Tac Life to buff that counter down. So here I have the included wool pad on the largest spindle, and I just tie a basic loop knot on there and I tucked it under and I'm going to use it to buff the counter I have that cream on there that's all dried and ready for me to go ahead and buff I'm going to use the lock function After I went, did the low speed, I'm going to increase the speed a little bit. I think the uh, second speed, I wouldn't go more than that. That's fine for buffing a counter like this. And now it's all buffed. And I'm sure the camera's not picking it up, but it's extremely shiny right now and feels really smooth. 
So what do I think about the Taclite brand variable speed polisher model PPG J01A? I like this device. It's balanced nicely. You can tell it looks really high tech. It works well as I demonstrated for polishing and polish my counters and also for sanding using the attachments and with with the included pads and the included sandpaper and the spindles and the wool and the handle options you have on this device it all comes with all of this and the tool to work with everything so I think this is a great value and I think you're going to like this product it works really well and I love the digital display also so that you know how much energy to use and you can remember that setting for the different materials that you're actually polishing or sanding. I also love the lock mechanism on here. They save you fatigue on your hand. So I'm going to give this product a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads. If you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.